Hello and welcome to the ARCA series. We are here at Kansas here in the new week and uh, we are just about ready to get started here for qualifying. Um, we've got Gavin in here. Uh, looks like we've ended up racing the same time slot here. It's not the first time slot of the week, but um, it is Monday night and we've got ourselves a 3.6k strength of field, so not bad at all. Um, we were talking about how it um, feels really slow around here uh, when you compare it to the Gen 4. Got kind of used to that, and now that we're in uh, in the ARCA car, it feels like we're going at a snail's pace around here. And I don't think the lower line is going to be quite very viable. Probably going to want to do a couple laps down there early in the race, just because... Uh, Otherwise, you'll burn your tires off too quickly. But I have the feeling everybody's going to move to the top. Green flag, green flag. Okay. It's just going to be impossible to pass. So it's going to be one of those races, most likely. I've been running before. So we will see, but qualifying it's definitely going to be high line. In practice, I was flat-footing the high line, but it was also uh, nighttime in the practice session, so probably cooler track and more able to just flat-foot it. Might be able to go a little faster here. On lap two, focusing up a little bit. I can pretty much flat-foot that. I did a tiny, tiny little uh, lift-off. That's it. I lifted up more than I needed to there. Into three. This will be a better lap. In fact, this will be my fastest lap. I'm going to get a 31.043. For now, that's pole. We'll see if that holds up. I think second lap is probably going to be faster for a lot of guys. There's JP up there. And there's the number one car up there. Almost it with a 30.9. So probably if I flat-footed it and just uh, didn't lift at all on that high line, might have been able to get it done, but I was a little worried I would push up into the wall, so it wasn't quite ready to do that. Because if I were to get up into the wall, that would have just been terrible. Throwing away my whole qualifying session, pretty much, so... I'll take it. We'll still be pretty far up front, I believe. With our 31 0. I'm gonna go ahead and park it. I think what my game plan might be is early on I might run that high line, try to get some track position, try to see if I can put myself out front, and then once I've got it, if I have it, I'll try doing that lower line. Because um, I think when the tires are cold, you can probably get more rotation. I mean, you can see after those couple of laps there. We're basically even on the right sides. So I think I'll do like a couple qualifying laps, essentially, to start with. Get some track position as much as I can. And then I'll start settling into that low line until that starts to get too tight. And we'll move back to the top. So that's kind of my game plan here. We'll see if it changes at all. Waiting on the 8 car. And that is it. And we're waiting on nobody. So ready to go. Alright. Good stuff. No waiting around here. We're ready. And we are P3 to start. Gavin back there in ninth. Um, hopefully he has himself a good run. And, uh, yeah, I think we're just about ready. Oh, there's JP. Oh, it's a good one. What am I typing? I don't know. Hope it's a good one. So. Get in car. Session last lap. Yeah, we'll hopefully get ourselves a good here. jump. 3,642. Keep it clean. The DNF today. Looking okay there. Oh no, someone just lagged out. 
Looks like they were starting four or fifteenth. That's unfortunate. Bad timing for that. Nick Martin in here as well. I just noticed he's started P4. He's got a great qualifying effort. Hopefully he has himself a good race. He'll be starting on our outside. It's like a red, yellow, and white car. I don't like the uh, McDonald's car in front of us. Only 35 laps? That seems pretty quick. Oh, I guess that makes sense for a mile and a half. Follow car number zero one in the inside lane. That's it for cars. Make them last the rest of the race. One lap to green. Line up on the inside. So again, the plan is be uh, a little bit assertive on the start here. See what we can do, and then uh, we'll go right front protection mode. Will be a second gear start, looks like. And Nick's got that uh, Ritz car on the outside. That's a fun one. We, of course, end the grape as we usually are. No special paint scheme for this one, just the eye racing uh, purple car that I do. Real simple. Get ready, going green. Really early. Green flag, green flag. Think be really aggressive with the block. But he did start ahead of us, so that's fair. Outside. Go low. Prefer to be on the outside if I'm trying to be aggressive early. Hold your line. We'll get a better run out of the corner. Well, it didn't really work out for us. The whole being aggressive thing. We're a little bit too far back now to waste our tire going up top. We will try to protect third place, though. Seven's going to be coming, so we're going to take the high line this time. Just basically flat footing it. Wish it were a little bit more lively with the handling, but this place is just too big for that, I guess. I think I want to do less of a wide entry than that if I'm going to be going for saving the tires. Kind of a late decision to do it right there. It's a little loose, but nothing spectacular by any means. New fastest lap for White, 31.2. That lap was a 31.4. Kind of just running low, trying to let the banking carry me as much as uh, I can let it. And uh, avoids turning the steering wheel if I can. We'll see how this works. The two guys ahead seem uh, content just to run higher. You've just done a 31.6. Good watching behind me. That four is coming up pretty fast. We'll run the high line if we need to protect protect the spot. Oh. 
Ah, oh, man, Nick's already lapped down? What happened? He was starting P4. It must have been some sort of a uh, accident. That sucks. Good brake position. Let's start this one. Probably gonna have to run high line here in three and four. Depending on the on the run that they get behind. No, not quite. They're not quite here yet. They're side by side, I like to see that. Would love for them to uh use up their tire fighting each other. The capital Phillips ahead is now not my date. Now do I have to run the high line? I think I might here. I'm indecisive, that's not good. I should be more decisive with these things, but... Now definitely. High line. A lap car sitting in the high line for some reason. I recognize the name. Makes sense. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. To be fair, though, there's people running both on high and low side of the track, so tough to know where to be. The lap time was at the twelve point eight. Oh my god, what was that freaking tight race car right there? That was awful. Oh my god. Stay high. Clear. Might be time to run high line. Because there's no turn left in it. See, we'll try here, see if I can just drive a little softer, but... Fortunately, it just kind of feels dead to drive. Need that Gen 4 horsepower. One's driving away. When we can afford it, I will still keep running that bottom line, I think. Even going through the bottom line slow is going to be better on the tires, even if we are tight down there, I think. Time was 32.2. Not much speed to, to be had, though. Probably just gonna have to run high line. I mean it this time too. Wow, I missed the corner there. I nearly put myself in the wall. That's the angle, I guess. I guess we're just running the high line to the end of the race. You're a joke, bro. Gonna try to I not mean, throw me down the straightaway for what reason? Why well, throw me down the straightaway? I'm gonna lap down. Let me go. But you wanna come down on my door and throw me on the straightaway? You've just done a 
32.5. Yeah, your race is more important than mine, man. Just run everybody else. I can't hear you all the way back there. What do you say? You're an 18. And you have a lower eye rating than me. <laughs> the gap to Phillips in front is now 1.0 seconds. This uh, this kind of stinks. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I like my own half tracks. Not unless they're gonna give this like a super loose setup or something to use. Cause I mean, like, what are we doing here? <laughs> it's not very fun to drive, unfortunately. You can't even like take the bottom anymore, I don't think, to save tire because it's just not worth it. Like, you lose so much time, it's not going to pay off. So we're just going to continue to kill the tires on the high side. Probably no one's going to be able to pass. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if this guy catches us, but... Probably, I mean, there's probably some good racing in the back there if you got a lot of people kind of stacked up where you got side by side. Some guys have to use the bottom, maybe uh, try to slide up. Like, you might have some good racing back there, I don't know. As long as you're not get, getting guys doing like dumb slide jobs or anything that are poorly done and stuff, which you can sometimes get at Kansas. But. That lap time was 32.8. We are just going to run the high line for another... Yeah, coming up on 15 laps here. If you get on the seam, it looks like maybe that can give us a little bit more turn. Make sure I don't overdrive it and end up in the wall. I guess the fours probably saved tire better than us. Maybe. Coming up on the nine again. I thought he was in the pits. I guess he decided to come back out. down a little bit too early. So now I'm still holding the high line? Nope. No, it's going down one. He was in the pits, why didn't he take a fast repair? This is up our uh, entry into one, but it doesn't matter. It's like... I think the four is going to have to do a crazy like uh, slide job on us try to get around if he wants to, so we'll have to be looking out for that. Just 
Just can't give up this high line. Great job, game to go. Your lock time was 33.0. to go honestly probably trying to save my tires early was just a waste inside stay high there's a car on the low side keep high I don't anticipate him being able to make that move if he does then uh, shout out to him because that would be impressive So tight. Race car is way too tight. Is JP going to be able to co go catch the, uh, the number one? It's about 0 0.8, 0 0.7 away. Might be able to do it. Gotta agree with Gavin, unfortunately, not a great combo. He was saying beforehand, not a fan of these uh, cars here. I have to agree with him. Just doesn't work, I don't think. Like I said earlier, or at least uh, alluded to, I think the only way you can make this happen and be a good race, I think, is if you like gave a really, really loose setup or something. Inside. He's gonna try for our inside here. Inside. Hey, if you got something to say, go ahead and say it. Still there, inside. Still there, hold your line. It's funny as usual. Still there, hold your line. Still there, clear inside. Four can't get by because this combo stinks. Sorry. It does, though. I don't want to give him my outside, so we're just going to run here. Five laps to go. Still you there, hold your line. We're three. in a podium position. Stay high. Still there, inside. He's probably fast at this point, but this is why I had that game plan to try to be aggressive early. Because I just knew it was going to be a possible pass later on. I don't want to be in his situation right now. He might still do it though, because his tires are just that much better. It's very close to our door. Clear inside. Oh, now JP is up there though, right next to the one. That's interesting. Is he going to be able to pass him, though? That's the question. I messed that up. Inside. I don't know how I got out of the wall so quickly. He he's deserves this, probably, since Still I made that mistake, bottom. but... Uh, Car inside. Yeah, I don't check up there on the bottom. Stay high. Two left to go. Two to go. I just I turned in too late. Go inside. So I drifted up into the wall. Still there, hold your line. 
Even with our mistake, you can't get by us. This stinks so bad. He 100% deserves to be by us right now, and I feel like a big piece of garbage for just holding that high line. But it's what you gotta do. That was the game plan from the start. Just knowing we needed the track position early. I almost got the wall again. The car, car is so freaking tight. Still inside. He's probably going to do a big slider here on the white flag lap. Still there, inside. A flag lap here at Daytona. Clear. White. This car inside. Stay high to the car on the other side. Still there, hold your line. Barely get him. That was a great effort. Well done, Colton. Great drive. That's a perfect flag. flag. Check a flag. Good job. Very good job. Someone talking, I can't hear him, he's so far behind. Good race. Good race, good win. Sure, that was frustrating for the four, but it's just what it is. 58, 78. Doesn't even matter. Because you can't pass. So, start third, finish third. Weren't able to make up any spots at the start. JP made his way forward, but once he reaches him, you cannot pass. So, that stinks for him. Nah, you came up into me, bro. I guess. <laughs> it's uh, still a good finish. Sorry, I can't hear you. I left the server. So we'll look at the incidents. IJP wasn't as close as I thought he was at the start there. I was like, man, he's really cutting it close. He really wasn't. Felt closer in the car. So seven's gonna get the wall a little bit on lap three. Six is going to get loose in front of Gavin, but it looks like everybody's okay for now. Nine, a little slower off the corner, so he kind of takes the middle line there, and then uh, just drifts in front of the six, and the six wasn't too willing to uh, lift off for him at all. And uh, that causes that to happen. Gavin somehow avoids getting caught in that. That was pretty lucky. He, he, I'm sure he sees the 9 sliding up in front of the 6. The 6 tries to cut down, um, but can't. Just lift for it, unfortunately, so the 11's going to go around him. The 18 probably as well. Uh, unfortunately, that's what happened to Nick Martin. Big wreck on the front stretch. Completely not his fault. Not even a part of that until they uh, made him be a part of it. The one. It's going to just blink a little bit. And 18 in front of Gavin. Is he going to get the wall? Well, not quite. Wall on entry. Here we are, lap 10. We're headed into 11, just some blinking. We got three wide here with a lap car because, of course, we do. What? What is he even. Why is he even in this fight? He's putting himself three wide as a lap car. This is why I never like seeing his name on the roster. Like, he just drives the 18 up into the wall. That guy stinks, man. Is he going to cause more issues? He's going to drive him in way too hard and run into the wall. Almost runs into the back of the 8 for no reason. I think because the 8 was uh, complaining about him. 
And so he probably was aiming for him there. Yeah, he's like aiming for him. He's gonna he's trying to run in the back of him, probably. He would deny it, of course, but you know, he's gonna drive the eight into the wall, because he's a piece of garbage. The truth come out. I don't like being I don't like being negative negative against people, but I've seen like a dozen races he's been just an absolute weapon in, so. Just a warning if you ever see his name. Uh, 11's gonna get in the wall. 21, not able to get around. Some more wall hits. Thankfully, the 8's still doing okay, except for that wall hit, which is pretty not good. But uh, he's in 6 still, despite the 9 trying to ruin it for him. 17's gonna get the wall. Everyone's gonna slide up, and the seven's just gonna run into the back of them. Because why would you ever lift for anybody? This is how you have to pass. Like, it sucks, but that's just how you have to pass in with this combo. And the seven shows him no courtesy whatsoever. <laughs> just runs into the back of him, which of course in this car, uh, with the noses, just gonna spin him instantly. Like, I'm sure Gavin doesn't even want to make that move. It's just what the only way he can pass in this car. So, I mean, the 7 could lift off, maybe cut under him, and uh, return the favor, try like a slide job in the next corner, but instead he's just going to run in the back of him. I think he apologized. So, at least there's that, but that's unfortunately what happens to Gavin. He ends up finishing 17th. byproduct of this just stank combo. Nine just being an absolute clown. So he's that's what that was at the end. He's narrating his own move because he lives in his own world. Wow, video game move. So crazy. That was hilarious. And uh, that's the end of the race. So, stinky combo, some stinky drivers in this one, but what you gonna do? Um, at least we were able to avoid any messes. We'll get third. We'll be like public en enemy number one for the four, but I swear, it's not me, it's, it's just how you have to race this, unfortunately. And uh, we'll look at the results we'll get from it here. Race results page be up in just a couple of seconds. Here we are. Decent strength of field. We had a 3-6-4-2 over here. So our third place will get us 195 championship points and uh, 32 I rating. It looks like the one probably just didn't bother trying to save tires. Just ran the, to the top the whole time. And uh, even though JP was able to save his tires a little bit better, didn't run quite as hard, meant nothing, because when he got there, just couldn't pass him. So, sorry for being a little bit negative, just not the not the most fun uh, combo here, but uh, that's okay. It happens. Sometimes that is uh, the product you get when you head out to the racetrack, and you just got to make the most of it. So, I think we did all right. We got ourselves a top three, and... Uh, that's a, a good run, so thank you for watching. That will do it for Kansas in the Arca car. Appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.